everyone, it is me, Mary, and I am here today with a very interesting deal for you. I don't know if it's going to be great, great, great. Hopefully it will be. So the other day I did a video for y'all and I thought it was pretty cool, actually. I think it was cool because I got to eat chips, but I also think it was neat to bring a different type of video to you. Um, I am an extreme couponer if you're wondering why we've got a potato chip video with pads. <laughs> That's why I'm an extreme free couponer and we can often find products that we have overages to pay for or we can get for free otherwise. But just because something's free doesn't mean it's necessarily the best. So what I've decided to do is look at some interesting new products, newer products, <laughs> and see if they're actually worth investing our overages in or our money in. So this is that type of video. I hope to find some different, the different types. The last um, time we did the Greek ones and the, what was it, Greek and Chinese. Yes, those are the two we did. So this time we're doing Indian and Brazilian. Unfortunately, they don't have my people because they don't like Spain, but that's okay. All right, so here we go. They didn't have the full size, so there was not a coupon at one off of two. These are full price. However, as we know, we have some overages right now at Walmart, so that's why I decided to try them out. So I think I am more excited about trying this one out. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see. In addition to that, I want you to know that these small bags were not with the full size chips. They only had the Chinese and the Greek version in the full size, and these were in the small size in the front. So let's go with the Tikka, tikka Masala. I can't speak today and here's basically what it looks like it looks super good I don't know if you ever had the opportunity to go to an Indian restaurant we did all the time back in Atlanta so I have high hopes for this hmm I smell garlic I want to say cayenne pepper. Definitely a cayenne pepper smell there. So let's see here. I get a small one. Hmm. Okay, the first thing that hits you is number one. Oh, there's some spice. I love spice too. Um, so this number one, it ha it's kettle cooked. So that's my favorite type of chip. Number two, when you're looking at this, it is like overly seasoned. Okay, to me, my fingers have so much seasoning on them that I wouldn't even know what to do with. Um, so that is something right there. You taste a lot of that, and I think with that comes a lot of a salty taste. I definitely like salt. Um, but it's just, it's a little overpowering. There is a aftertaste that is very, very prominent. I don't know. I, it's kind of creamy, but there's just a, there's a very prominent aftertaste. And I just think, I keep thinking of cayenne pepper. Like the smell, you know when you do deviled eggs in Thanksgiving? That's kind of what this smells like um, without the eggs, because that would be so much better. I don't know. It's all right. I don't know if I would just buy this as an everyday chip, to be honest with you. A little tomato, a little cayenne pepper. Kind of creamy tasting. Spice at the end. It's all right. Not the best. I purchased a coffee cup and it happened to be a left-handed coffee cup. Isn't that kind of neat? Okay. So the next one, the Brazilian. I'm so excited for this one. If you ever went to um, Fogo de Chao in Atlanta, oh my god, so great. Why do I smell vinegar? I don't know why I smell vinegar. There's not supposed to there's not supposed to be vinegar in this dish, is there? 
I don't think there is. Chimichurri. Interesting. Hmm. My son will probably love these. Okay, so it looks just like a sour cream and onion chip. Sorry that the light is so bad. You can't even see that. It's terrible. Anyways, no, you can't see it, but whatever. So it definitely looks like a sour cream and onion with a little flecks of green. It doesn't taste like it or smell like it. excited about this chip I don't like this at all like I do not like this chip mm -mm. I don't even know what I taste other than just gross hmm I don't know guys I love garlic I don't really taste the vinegar. It would have been a lot better if it was like an overpowering vinegar taste than this. This was gross to me. And it has just this smell to it, you know, and it's like going up into my nose and it's just... You may like it. If you like it, let me know. I did not like this at all and I love this food so I don't understand that. Maybe it's supposed to be the flavor of Oh, it is steak and chimichurri sauce. I don't know, guys. I give this like a one out of chips. Like, I don't even know if I was really hungry. If I would eat, if I was really hungry, yeah, I'd eat it. But this is not something that I would ever buy. So, out of the four um, packs of chips that I tried, there was the Chinese Sichuan, there was the um, Greek, what was it? The Greek masala? No, that's the. Indian one. The Greek, I can't remember now. I will put it up here. But anyways, the Greek one, which tasted kind of interesting. Um, the Indian one and the Brazilian one, I have to say that the Chinese was my absolute favorite. I don't know that I would buy it again unless I was just in one of those weird moods and I may pick it up. Um, but anyways, that was that. I hope you enjoyed this video. That one was gross. Ugh. Gotta go brush my teeth now. It was like that. Yep. Y'all have a good one. Bye, guys.